One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to set up the Echo Dot Max, which we've got right here, which was just released in 2025. So let's get started setting this up. The first thing that you need to do is download your Amazon Alexa app, set up a username and password, and log in. So we're logged into the Alexa app. Now we're going to plug in our Amazon Echo Dot Max and get started setting it up. You want to make sure that you have Bluetooth enabled on your phone as well as you are connected to your Wi-Fi network while you set this up because it's going to make it easier to set up the Echo Dot Max. So now we're going to plug it in. Hello, this device is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in the Alexa app. Hola, este dispositivo está listo para la configuración. Solo sigue las instrucciones en la app de Alexa. Bonjour, cet appareil est prêt pour la configuration. Il suffit de suivre les instructions dans l'application Alexa. Bringing your device online. Just a moment. I need to download an update for this device. I'll let you know when it's done. While it's downloading, you can keep setting up this device in the Alexa app. Now our Echo Dot Max is powered up and ready for setup. Now, if you click up here in the notifications bar, it says finish your Echo Dot Max setup. And that's because a lot of times when you buy devices on Amazon, if they're already linked to your Amazon Prime account, they will automatically import a lot of the settings once you plug them in and power them up. The update is complete. You can keep customizing this device in the Alexa app if you're not done yet. When you're ready, let me know how I can help you with your day. Your Echo is ready. So because that we purchased this device on Amazon and we have a Prime account, it automatically links all that information in the app already because they track the serial numbers and everything through the purchase process. So you might wonder, how do I set up the Echo Dot Max and go through some of the settings? Because we purchased it on Amazon, we're going to click up here at the notifications button right here, and it says finish your Echo Dot Max setup. So I let it go through the whole process of being powered up, downloading an update, that took probably three to four minutes for it to complete the update and then cycle through the power cycle. And then it said, okay, it's all ready to go. So I click that notification button and then I just click finish your Echo Dot Max setup right here. It says Alexa Plus, start Alexa Plus early access. It tells you a little bit more information about this. Flow through conversations about any topic, get more done, handle tasks across service and devices tailored to you. We're going to click continue on this. Welcome to Alexa Plus. We're going to click get started. Hey, it's Alexa. Yep, it's the new me with a new voice. Before we get started, I wanted to point a few things out. You can just talk to me naturally. And the more you chat with me, the more I learn. When you're ready to chat, just say my name. When I'm done responding, if the blue light is on, you can keep talking to me and don't need to say my name again. Anytime you want to learn more about me, just ask, what can you do? Let's get started. Here it asks if we want to add family members. We're just going to leave our profile and then click uh, remind me later. It says a call message and email your contacts with Alexa. We're going to click remind me later. Keep with your schedule and send emails hand-free. Here it says email Alexa images, events, and important details. Once again, we're just going to click continue with this account. Here you can select multiple different services like OpenTable, Uber, Ticketmaster. We're just going to click remind me later. Here it says be recognized across devices. We're going to click later on that as well. You're ready to explore. Click continue. So now our Echo Dot Max has been set up. So the way that we got this set up is if you don't see the notification bar pop up right here and click on it, we're going to go up in the upper corner here and click on that notification to finish your Echo Dot Max setup. So that's the one way to do this. Now we're gonna have another video that shows you how to set this up if it's not registered to your account via the serial number. 
So let's go and look at all Echo and Alexa devices. We're going to find this Echo Dot Max and then just see uh, some of the features on this particular device. So here we are, let's click on the Echo Dot Max and you can see you do typical Bluetooth connections like anything else. You've got alarms and timers that you can set up. You've got your Bluetooth status. So let's click on some of these different options here. I'm gonna click on temperature right here to see what this actually shows. This has a temperature sensor in it. For whatever reason, it shows minus 472. I'm sure it's just uploading or updating. So we'll come back and look at this in a day or two, but it does track the uh, temperatures. Let's go back. We've got our volume adjustment here, so I can turn this up or down. Uh, you can hear it will beep. You've got your drop-in feature, which is like for making calls. And then what is this right here? Do not disturb mode right there. So on the device itself, we've got our volume up right here our volume down right here, and then we've got our mute button right here so it won't respond to any commands. Let's just ask it a simple question. Alexa, what's the temperature in Chicago? It's 25 degrees in Chicago right now, with a high of 34 and a low of 17 degrees today. Also, hello there, you're talking with the new me. Would you like help getting started with your new Alexa Plus features? No. All right, I'll let you get back to your day. So now we're gonna explore some of the settings up here at the top. Here in the device settings, we can see we've got our Bluetooth device settings, which Wi-Fi network that we want to connect to. We've got our speaker. Uh, we can change this to a stereo pair or subwoofer if we've got two of these. So we scroll down the device settings a little bit more and this is where it gets interesting. We can click on tap gestures and while there's no buttons physically here, there must be some type of a sensor. It's got tap control available. So you can snooze your alarms by clicking the top of the device, just kind of by like tapping it like that, which is really nice. Dismiss timers or end calls. And then uh, you can have different features for that. You can also tap to pause or resume media. So you can turn these on and off. Now we're gonna go back to the menu here and one of the next things that I wanna get into is presence detection. So when enabled, your device will detect motion using ultrasound technology. Ultrasound will only be admitted when you turn on features that use it. So there's an ultrasonic sensor in here that can detect movement. Uh, I'm actually going to turn this off, but you can use this um, for occupancy and then you can have uh, lights turn on and off. You can adjust the range of this, but we're gonna turn that off uh, for now. I don't need that uh, capability. Here we've got that temperature sensor, which is calibrating. It says it's 61.7 degrees. Uh, you've also got Amazon Kids features, do not disturb. Uh, you can turn that off. Communications, wake word. You can change the wake word to something different. So if you want it to be computer, Echo, Ziggy, you can do that. Uh, that is nice. Maybe you've got someone in your family named Alexa, which can be quite frustrating. So being able to change uh, that wake word is great. The other settings we have in addition to the temperature is sound. You can change uh, how you want this equalized. So you've got... Uh, calls, you can have the uh, alarms and timers be louder, you can gradually increase the alarm volume, you can see how much you want to equalize this, so you can choose between bass, mid-range, and treble. They've added a lot of audio controls in this because this does now have both a tweeter and a subwoofer, so it is designed to have better um, sound quality than previous generations. Now, another part of this device is that it is meant to be a smart home hub or a hub contained device. So if you've got an Eero router, this can work as a Wi-Fi network extender, but it also has a Zigbee chip in it and it will work with matter and thread protocols, which are popular smart home automation protocols uh, within the Echo Dot Max. So pretty cool that they've added all these features. Let's go back to some more of those menu settings. Beyond the sound settings, you've got your Amazon Kid feature. You can enable or disable that. We've got Do Not Disturb, so if you don't want any inbound calls coming through this, 
You can change your wake word from a different name than Alexa. You've got a follow-up mode, and then you've got Alexa's a voice that you can change, as well as you've got adaptive listening, and you can change the language. And the last thing that you can change is your measurement units. We've currently got it at Fahrenheit and miles. We're going to leave it at that. So that is how you set up your Echo Dot Max. Please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and click any links below if you want to support us. We also have another video that shows you how to set this up if it's been completely reset. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.